Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfect Genetics uh, Challenge and it is my favourite family, the uh, Luck family. Now we are actually in a different town at the moment. Chad got the opportunity to get a fantastic new job as a city council member of Meadow Glen and since the previous town was extremely laggy and just extremely annoying to play, I decided that Chad would take them up on this particular offer. So we are going to be playing in Meadow Glen. Now Meadow Glen I had the old version for my runaway teen challenge and I love Meadow Glen. It's really smooth, it's a nice town to play and there's a lot of nice locations in it. And um, But this is the updated version so this has a lot more things to it than what we maybe experience with the runaway teen. So there are more things that we can do. Obviously I've got lots of lots and things I can add in as well. So this is the town that we are at now and it's a lot more smooth. We up and brought the house with us because we love the house and we didn't want to leave the house. And the house is now on the goddamn beach. The goddamn, I don't know why it's a goddamn beach, but it's a beach. <laughs> and I am well jealous. I am well jealous. We brought Isaac and Mercedes and their baby, and they live currently here. And just now we've got a visitor from this residence here. So we have got, and Gabby is talking to him just now. Um, his name is Max and he's in the Hendrix family. He's actually, he came over initially with his sister. He has a twin sister called Elissa and they got on quite well but I think Alyssa's went away home but Max has stayed. So um, him and Gabby are uh, just kind of chilling out and becoming becoming quite nice friends really. So I did turn off aging. Let me turn it back on and make sure, yep, enable aging. I turned it off while we were actually moving because as you guys know, it is the twins birthday, or sorry, the twins, the triplets birthday. So I'm trying to see what they have left to know. So does Seth, Seth needs to learn how to walk. So can we get a shifty on doing that? I don't know if we'll manage to do everything before the age, but we shall we shall see, I suppose. Um can we um pick up Cameron? That'd be great. And a lot of you said as well that because Gabby is older, are we gonna be up up upgrading? <laughs> Are we going to be aging her up as well? And I think that that would be a good thing to do. She is only a couple of days away anyway from aging up into a teen. So it's not as if it was changing the story uh, dramatically. So um, that's what I think we'll do. So whenever they age up, we will age her up as well. So in this episode, you're going to see the twins age. Twins. The triplets age up and you will also see Gabby age up. So I want to teach Cameron to walk because I want him to have a really, really good start. Oh my goodness, look, literally, literally. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is because they're only teaching how to do these things, I'm going to skip and then probably pick up whenever the triplets age. Alrighty guys, so we have done the skilling up and it is like two in the morning. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're starting to get pretty, pretty tired. What can I say? So let's age these guys up. I'm so excited. I am so excited to see what they look like at, you know, as children. So let's go ahead and trigger our Seth. We'll do Seth first. Happy birthday, Seth. I would have liked to have thrown a party for them, actually, but because of the fact that they've literally just um, moved house and stuff, and because I don't want it to age up on their own because of the whole three of them aging up at the same time can be a nightmare, we will do Seth. Okay, so we can choose his skill. Awesome, and he's got a girl's hairstyle. So Grumpy loves the cold, and a lot of you are saying that I should just choose the actual one. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to make him, going to make him, going to make him. We want him to be in the band, don't we? That's what we've kind of decided. So we're going to make him a virtuoso. Okay, Seth. Happy freaking birthday. Okay, Cameron, trigger his age transition. Oh my God, this is exciting. Well, I find it exciting. <laughs> I like to see what they look like. Seth looks as if he'll be cute once we get, you know, proper hair. Um, oh no, don't tell me he's going to glitch out and it's not going to do his birthday. Since he's the heir, that is not a good thing. Oh no. Oh no. It's Cameron's birthday. We know this. Are you aging him up then? 
are you? Nope, doesn't look like it. Wonderful. That's what we like. That's what we like in here. Let's let Millie out and see if we can age Millie up. We can always age Cameron up in uh, Create a Sim if we have to. Obviously don't want to do that, but we can. We can, we can, we can. Let's put Millie down here. Or wherever you want to put her. <laughs> Let's see if we can trigger her age transition. Hopefully she'll go. I mean, Cameron might go on his own. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, so Millie is. Millie has developed a coward trait. What? We did. We managed to do everything with her. I don't like that. I'm changing that, guys, because I literally, I did do everything. I did do absolutely everything with her. She knew how to potty change, she knew how to walk and talk. So I hope you don't mind, but I know that I did it. Therefore, I am going to be changing that coward trait because that is not, that is not right. Okay, let's try Cameron once more. Let's try him again. Can we try and trigger your transition? Oh. Is it going to work? I don't think it's going to work. Kind of did the center on him thing, but it's not actually going to work. Right, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and age him up and I will come right back. Alrighty guys, so this is how he eventually aged up and I think he is super cute. Now I'm going to obviously do his makeover because we wouldn't have our camera and cutting about like this or with this hairdo but uh, this is what he looks like when he first aged up. So I thought I would show you that and then I'll show you once he's made over. Okay, so here is our little Cameron and I've just kept the hair that uh, he had and I changed his skin tone to a custom content skin tone because I just feel it's a lot more realistic because you can see sort of the lines in the lips and things like that and I just think he's so handsome guys. This is our heir and he is gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. Well, adorable. I know, I know you can't really call a kid gorgeous really, but he's absolutely adorable. That's his formal wear. Now because obviously we're really invested in this family, I've went and did all of their outfits. Sleepwear, we've went for minion pyjamas, how cute, adorable. Athletic, just that number, and swimwear, because we have a swimming pool, that. And outerwear, we have got this. So yeah, that. That is our Cami, our Cameroon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other child, one of the other childs, and I'm going to cut back with them as well. I'm also going to age up Gabby. I have decided we shall do that. So I'll be right back. All right, and this is Millie before. So this is what she looks like before. Just do an up close. Our Millie look cute as a button and um, I will come right back once she's made over. Alrighty guys, so at your request, I have made Millie very much a tomboy, but you can still see that she's a very cute girl. So we've kind of went nothing prissy, nothing girly, nothing girly girl about her. She's still got a nice sense of style about her, but she definitely looks like she could take a rough and tumble with the boys, um, you know, in a playful way. <laughs> um, and yeah, I like that outfit. So that's her everyday wear. Her formal wear, she's like, nah, not feeling this, I'm not wanting a dress, nope, if I'm going anywhere I'll wear this baseball kind of outfit. So, and the good thing is Chad and Emma aren't the type of parents that would force her to, to do anything. I think these minion pyjamas are about as girly as Millie will allow things to get. And uh, so that's her pyjamas. Well, I suppose she's got some pink there, but it's definitely not girly girl, it's just athletic. And then for her swimwear, she has got this scuba suit. Scuba suit. And then for her outerwear, she is just wearing some uh, dungarees. But I think we're going to have fun with Millie. I think it's going to be nice to have that kind of change from the usual uh, girly girl. And we'll, her style will evolve as she grows up as well. And we'll have more options as teens and adults as well. Alrighty, so last up is Seth. Alrighty, so here is Seth, and Seth has cheekbones for days. <laughs> actually makes a very pretty girl, actually. Um, so this is him, and I will be right back. Alrighty, and here is Seth, and he's just a cool, casual little guy with the uh, with the what do you call it? 
what do you call it? The beanie, the beanie. And I've not changed his skin tone, so I'll need to do that to match the families. Using the blueberry skin tone, and I'm going to make him a bit darker, because obviously it was darker. There you go. His skin tone was slightly darker. There we go. How handsome is he? So again, it's one of these things, we'll get more options when they become teenagers for clothes and stuff like that. And um, we'll have more options and stuff like that. So that's his uh, formal wear. Sleep wear, he's just got that. He's one of these kids that have got the hat and he is not taking that hat off. No way, Jose is that hat coming off, even when he's in his swim trunks. So, <laughs> so he is, he's such a cutie, I love him already. So what I've decided to do is, I'm not, to, I'm not going to age up Gabby uh, today. I'm not going to age it up today because we don't, we don't have that much time left now after all this. And I would quite like to have some gameplay rather than just makeovers. But what I think we could do is in the next episode, uh, we could make sure that we have quite a nice uh, kind of birthday time for her. I think that would be fun. Right, so where is Emma? Emma is... <laughs> their needs are so bad. Their needs are really, really bad. Um, Do we have enough beds? No, we don't. So that's something we need to kind of sort out for her. But Emma, you should go and get some rest. So you just go and use the toilet. And there are no kids. Thank God, says you. So you'll actually be able to just chill out yourself. He's got to go to work. And his needs are pretty crappy. So that's probably not going to be a good thing. However, Gabby has been uh, to sleep. So she's absolutely fine. So she needs to go to school. So don't bother cleaning that up, darling. Just go to school today. And I don't think they'll be going to school because they've just aged up. No, they haven't. So, 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 Seth, you're going to go and clean all this up? Let's let's see how good he actually is if he's quite a neat child. Let's have a look. I forgot to change Millie from a coward, so I'll need to do that. Hey, Emma, our dog has just gave birth. We'd love for you to adopt one. Just stop by when you have the chance. And that is the neighbours across the street. So who's this? Who is this? Are they these paparazzi people just playing in our garden like, you know, it's a free-for-all? It's not a freaking park, guys. It's not a park. Where is Cameron? He is outside with his imaginary friend, as you do. As you do. Where is um Tramp, actually? Oh, Tramp is feeling unsociable. He needs some social, so let's get uh, Cameron to come and give him affection, feed him a wee treat, talk to him and let him sniff his hand because he doesn't really know them so we'll just kind of see how that goes why don't you go for a swim a sale has started at the grocery store has it really so i guess we could get we could get one of them to head over to this house why don't we get you okay nobody nobody in the hendrix household is in where are you anyway millie you're up the stairs okay so you're sleeping Gabriella, Gabby, has just went to her first day at work. Is anybody at home? The Luck household is. Seth has been clumsy and fell in the pool. Well, I told him to go in the pool, so that's that's absolutely fine. How is the relationships? I'm pretty sure he's friendly with um, Cameron. He is. Good stuff. Why have we just get random rocking chairs just sitting out here? Okay, let me just change that. No idea why that is. No idea why that is, but uh, well, we didn't check what um, what Isaac and Mercedes had. Let's go and check. Let's go and check. Okay, they had what? Okay, so that's a bit strange. So I can see a ghost baby. That's a bit weird. And but he had that with Mercedes, but that's only showing Mercedes is having one kid. What? Okay, that's really strange. That is really weird. I think we've got a glitch. I think we have a glitch. But they had a boy and they called him Donnie. Just ignore that, guys. I don't know what that is. But they had a boy and they called the boy Donnie. And he is easily impressed and good. It also looks like Mercedes has aged up as well. So, Cameron, why don't you come out here and you can ride on this. And Seth and Cameron get to know each other a bit better, I think. Um, in fact, you just play on the playground and you can play in the playground. I like the fact that in The Sims um, 4, they would be able to talk while doing these things. So that's something that I do miss whenever I'm playing this. Because it would be good to have that sort of multitasking. Why don't you push him in the swings? 
I need to go and do that. Go and push him on the swings. And Millie, are you ever going to get up? She's like, nah, nah, I'm not really interested. Come on, up you get lazy pants. Up you get lazy pants. I take it no one is, is in, no, the Hendrix. So it's the Hendrix that have actually got, um, the Hendrix that have the puppies. So we could go and have a look, why not? How is Belle? Belle, how are you doing? Okay, you're sleeping in Tramp's bed. <laughs> That's definitely not yours. That is definitely not your bed. Cameron Luck just became friends with a celebrity, Seth Luck. Making a new friend is always memorable, but making a celebrity friend is something to brag about. Okay. So that's quite cool. So get Millie to come and get her to swing on this. And we'll just get Cameron to uh, push her as well. So that'd be quite good. Because I don't know what their relationship is like. It's so... Well, no. The relationship with Gabby's not that great. Um, and with Seth it's not that great. So we'll need to build that up. Because I want this to be a really, really close family. And these kind of things I can do off camera as well. I don't need to necessarily do them during a Let's Play. Um, hold on. Back... Can I pause this? Because I can't seem to, to get on her. So let's push her. Let's push her just now. Just stop pushing him. And then you can push her. Free game. Attend free game at the stadium. Yeah, sure. Why not? And let's see if this can help your relationship as well. So cute, guys. So cute. I'll take a picture of that, I think. So, hopefully the triplets will be able to build up quite a good relationship. Um, like I say... Oh no! Cameron and Millie are very good friends. What? Did they just become friends just by doing that? Or... Or was it Seth that I'm looking at? It was Seth I was looking at, okay. So Cameron and Millie are really good friends, but it's Seth that's not, not that friendly. So why don't you go here? My God, so cute, guys. Go, Seth. Go, Seth. Go, Seth. Brush. Right, paparazzi, seriously? Get out of here. Larissa, don't make me kill you. Don't make me kill you. You're making me kill you. You are. You've died. Yes. You died because you fell in our pool and you drowned. Oh well. Shame. Lock to everyone but my household. Goodness me. Ridiculous is that. So they're going to do, do homework but you've not actually been to school. So that is dedication if I have ever, <laughs> if I have ever seen anything. So play tug a war with Tramp. Just make him feel like he's a good boy. And praise him for being non-destructive. I can't believe you are doing homework when you haven't even been to school. How random is that? I'm not going to complain. I think that's wonderful that you have this dedication. I do. I think it's wonderful. Do you have the homework in your inventory, Seth? No. Seth doesn't. So I don't know why these guys, maybe because, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know why they've got homework, it's so strange. Ah, The Sims 3. Glitch, glitch, glitch. I love the glitching. I do. Right, I want you to get up. And I want you to go over and, oh no, they're away out. That's such a lovely house they've got. Look, we'll cut, mum will go and we'll spy. So this is Isaac's house. It is, you can tell that Mercedes had Lots of money. Lots and lots and lots of money. Because look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we've got a nice house. But they have an even nicer house. I mean, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So, we really need to kind of start again. Um, She's back down to zero. Every time I take her in to create a sim properly, she loses all her money, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, them's the breaks. Them is the breaks. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it here because I think this would be a good point to leave it at because in the next part, we can pick up and we can have the birthday party for our lovely Gabby. And, uh, yeah, this place is so nice. Look, look, there's a little park over there that they can go to with swings and stuff like that. You know, Obviously, they can uh, swim in the water and they can scuba dive. I mean, we could even kind of, I don't know if it's actually deep enough for scuba diving, but we can get them to swim and, and does it have a scuba spots actually? I don't think it has scuba spots. 
I don't think it has, but that's okay. That's where Zoe was in one of eighteen. The beach. We even get a campground over here, the Lawn Lawn Campground, and they've got some bars and things underground, so it's quite swish. Quite swish, quite snazzy, and it looks like a lovely town. And this town is, like I say, Meadow Glen updated, and you can get it from My Sim Realty. Um, I don't know if it's a dot com or whatnot, but you can go and have a look at it. But I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you like the triplets as they have aged up. And uh, yeah, tune in next time for Gabby becoming a teen. And uh, it's interesting that she's built up a friendship with Max. However, obviously she's going to age up before Max. So maybe it's somebody that Millie could get talking to or, you know, a friend for the boys something like that that'd be fun all right guys so i shall talk to you in my very next episode bye guys love you